Either way you cut it, going to Australia is long. But we went the super long way. When you travel to Australia, you cross over the date line and you lose a day. Some people say you gotta dive in twice. Some people say you just missed a day. To avoid all those problems, we went. Regards from 40,000 feet in the sky. We are here for a wonderful bar mitzvah in Sydney, Australia. A special bar mitzvah boy who deserves the greatest party in history. And that's just what we are going to try to provide for him. Good morning, welcome to Jesse's Cafe and Bakery. Just a quick food review. And here in Australia, in places like Australia. And uh, if you're ever in Australia and you're hungry, we would highly recommend eating breakfast. This is Benny Friedman, and I am very, very far away, so I'm not gonna be at your upsharingish, but I wanted to say a mazel style and happy birthday for your upsharingish, I'm so excited. We are going to take a look at the Grand Central Synagogue. What did we say, 140 years old? 145. 145 year old synagogue, older than me. You saw my video about kings? I do, I do the Sefer HaMitzvah. Alrighty then, today's Sefer HaMitzvah. You need to have a second Sefer Torah um, because you are a king. Now, here's my question, unrelated. Does this apply to any kind of king? So for example, Mordechai ben David, the king of Jewish music. Does ah, ah, Benny, give my kiss on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Benny Friedman wants to buy a tie. You ask a, uh, a rabbi usually for spiritual things. But we know that Ayit's Gashmius is Ruchnius. So even if even physical things, that's the rabbi. The brown suit. Brown suit. It's gonna be those. Those are basics. This Tesla solar panel built into this. No, Rabbi Isaac, put it to a vote. What do you say, Matt? You're blue over here. You go, this is, you go. We're going up. We're at the Sydney Tower. We call this segment Jews with Views. You will not find a higher hand sanitizer in all of the city than the one you're looking at right here. Halfway up the ramp, then it's Sydney's even higher. Alrighty, we are now headed to the main event, the big bar mitzvah. Here we can observe a scene seldom seen in nature. The Pompadisa brothers preparing for a job. Shh, make sure not to disturb them. <laughs> I brought my very own yarmulke all the way from New York. That says Mazel Tov on it, because that's how festive I'm feeling. Wow, 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 wow. This bar mitzvah was something special. And Milim, tonight was magic, Poshit magic. A bunch of magicians came and made magic. L'chaim, thank you for all who made it happen. They do not know that we're coming. But we can't blame them because we didn't know we were coming until about a few minutes ago, so all good. 
What are your favorite songs? Bring the house down. Bring the house down. I came all the way. These kids are expecting just another ordinary end of Friday. They don't know what's in store for them. My name is Mr. Benny Friedman. And I came from New York. Good job, guys. Marketing geniuses. Hello, my friends. How are you? It's time for the Daily Safer Amits with once again. Regards from Kesetera College of Sydney, Australia. That was incredible. That's a good song. I was thinking the whole time, you know, we should do that. We should just go hit a random city without telling anybody. Don't have to make a concert. Just go to the school. You know what I mean? Uh, the way the place exploded, it was fantastic. Shabbos comes in over here, we're in winter time, so Shabbos comes in very early. So here we are, signing off, wishing everyone over here and in the whole world, whenever Shabbos comes in by you, it should be a beautiful one. And then Motzei Shabbos, uh, we're out. Before you send in all your uh, letters, we spoke to out of. Sydney, we out. We're gonna stop in Tokyo, Japan. From Tokyo, we're gonna go back to New York. But while in Tokyo, we have a few hours, we're going to try our very best. Land, get out the airport, visit Chabad of Tokyo, and then turn around and get back and get back. This is the plan. Just landed in Tokyo, we got out of the airport. It's raining, it's early in the morning. Trying to find our taxi, can't find it anywhere. And we're going to try to hit the town, the early morning version of Tokyo, Japan, and see what we can find. We found our Uber. Yes, Benny. Hey, hey, hey. Benny. Hey. How are you? Hey. We are now in Tokyo, Japan proper. The weather outside is all right. We're heading over to the Chabad house, see if we can visit the Shluchim, thank them for their hospitality and for the Mesiras Nefesh. Then our work in Japan will be done, will be complete. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Good. Hi. Right now we are in Tokyo, Japan. We are at a place called Hana's Place. Jewish kosher cuisine. And because there's an import ban on chicken, into the country of Japan, so we can order everything on the menu except chicken. Of course, the most important part of any visit to any Chabad house is don't leave without saying thank you. And this is how you say thank you. No other way. Some places with the exchange rate, you give slowly, you could mamish feel like you're, uh, you know, Elon Musk walking in over here. We're gonna go to Tokyo Tower. Yes. And after Tokyo Tower, to the airport. Okay. We're at the Tokyo Tower. Tokyo Tower is bottled after the Eiffel Tower, only bigger, because why not? Okay, hello, hello from the rainy season in the great city of Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo Tower behind us. Just wanted to check in with the Daily Safer Amitzvah. Today we have five minutes to the airport. Come on. So we recorded a quick daily safer at in the rain by the Tokyo Tower, straight back to the airport. Here we are, getting on the plane, back home, back to work, boom, boom, boom. So we're here at the airport now. Sydney was beautiful, was wonderful. And uh, we're out, we're leaving, heading back home for a quick stopover at home till we continue on our journeys. <laughs> But here's a uh, quick recap of the last week.